has been acting very strangely. In what way? She laughs all by herself and when I ask her why, she takes me in her arms and starts crying and says she's never been as unhappy in her life. I don't understand. <sighs> Would it be alright if I asked you a personal question? It depends on the question. You were aboard the Lassie Bill with my papa, Sophie. You were there when the ship went down. Why didn't you die like the other poor souls? I was very lucky. My father and I found a big tub that floated on the water. That's what saved us. You aren't feeling well, Papa. Oh, it's nothing. What about Blaze? He stayed on the boat, along with my cousin Paul and the captain, Commander de Rosborg. Um, your father, I mean. Take Sophie and get on board. Hurry, before it's too late. Wait! Wait! They made themselves a raft and then left the ship. They succeeded in reaching an island. But Mama always says that Papa is dead. Why is that? She thought he was Marguerite, but Blaze was with him. And he came back home. Now your Mama is hoping your Papa will come home. Is that why she laughs? Yes, and at the same time, she's afraid he'll never come back. So she cries when she thinks about that. What did you do while you were floating in the tub? We drifted for several days until another boat took us aboard. Over here! Over here! Back to the starboard, immediately. Was the boat on its way to America? Yes, we lived on a large plantation. My father married that horrible lady. Madame Ficini? Yes. And when Papa died, I had to stay all alone with my stepmother. <laughs> Is America far away? I'll show you. Those are the Caribbean islands where Blaise, Paul and your Papa went. Those tiny little specks? And that is America. Is this an island as well? No, not really. And where are we? Show me Flavio. It's here, in France. But it's so close to where Papa is. I can make a bread with my fingers. Oh, oh, the country would be delightful if it weren't for all these insects. All of this sun. Oh, and all these odors. Oh. What is that horrible thing? It smells awful. It's manure. It helps plants to grow. Why, you Parisians are so terribly sophisticated. You wouldn't even last more than one single minute on an island. My dear cousin, Parisians aren't so stupid as to find themselves stranded on a desert island. You were shipwrecked and you came home. Blaze was shipwrecked and he came home too. My papa was shipwrecked, and so that means he's going to come home. Yes, you're right, he should. And Paul, perhaps one day he too will return home. Oh. Why haven't you ever talked about the shipwreck to us? And your life in America, Sophie? My stepmother would beat me if I talked about it. Besides, I was trying to forget losing my parents and my cousin. I would cry whenever I thought of them. Blaise Leconte thinks Paul is still alive. After all these years, impossible. It is possible since Blaise returned home. Blaise is a grown man, not a child. But Paul was with the captain of the ship. It's quite possible they were eaten by cannibals. Stop talking like that. Why must you always say things that upset Sophie? No, Jean. Leon is right. I am mistaking my dream for reality. Paul, where are you, my Paul? Something tells me he's alive, and if I wish hard enough, he'll come back. I wish that Paul would come back. Paul, come home, please. It was human 
Madame, I... I thought you... What? I can't seem to fall asleep. Ever since I saw Blaise Leconte again, I can't help but think the pool will come back. And at the same time, I'm afraid he... You poor child. I feel the same way. When I saw how happy the Leconte's were to be reunited again, I'm ashamed to tell you just how I felt I was... I uh, felt jealous. But Blaise came home, madame. Perhaps it will be our turn. Do you think so? You believe as well, don't you, Sophie? Yes, with all my heart, madame. For years, I believed my husband was dead. I had given up. But now, I can't help but hope again, and not knowing is the worst part of it all. I too, as the years went by, I got accustomed to the idea of never seeing my cousin Paul again. But now I, I can't stop thinking about him. It's late, Sophie. We should both get some sleep. It's comforting to know that someone else feels as I do. My dear friend. <sighs> Tomorrow I shall go see Blaise Leconte. I want him to tell me if he thinks there's still hope for my husband and for young Paul. My friend, tell me, how is Sophie coping with all of this? Courageously. If you agree, then she can come with me to the Leconte's tomorrow, since she must have questions as well. Why, certainly. Would you look after Marguerite? She's still so young. She barely knew her father. I don't want her to build up false hopes. Did you know that in Paris, there's an office of the Naval Ministry where one can get information about shipwrecks? I could go there. Would you, my brother? It's worth trying, although there's not much hope. Yes, I agree. One never knows. We'd better not speak to Madame de Roseborg or Sophie about it until we know more. Then I'd better leave immediately. <coughs> I'll prepare the carriage. You are the most wonderful of all brothers. What would I not do for the most wonderful of sisters? you, madame. Come in. How can I thank you for all that you've done for my wife and my daughter? By helping us, Blaze. Yes, we would like to question you. We want to know if we have good reason mm. to hope. Madame! Madame! Marguerite is gone! Huh? Are they alive? Uh, they are. And how yeah. were they treated by the cannibals? Well, they weren't cannibals that we met. Do they have boats? Well, but I don't and know. And you, Blaze, you escaped from the island. How? Could my husband and Paul also have escaped? Answer, we need your help. Well, I, I know, but I, I don't know where to begin, madame. Please forgive us. We didn't mean to upset you. Why don't you tell us everything? Begin at the beginning. As I already told you. Yes? Our raft drifted for about seven days before reaching an uncharted island. We were exhausted. Especially your cousin Paul, who had suffered a great deal. to leave him on the beach to rest while we explored the island and searched for food, but Paul bravely insisted on coming along with us. Oh, <laughs> 
lads. But I've never seen natives as gentle as those Indians were. Thank heaven. And then? You left the island? <sighs> Why didn't my husband and Paul escape with you, Blaze? Because I was separated from them. They took me on a little canoe to another island, where I lived. And my cousin Paul? And my husband? Uh, that's the last I saw of them. I imagine they lived with the Indians, as I did on the other island. Were you well treated? I had food and shelter, but I felt too confined on the island. The chief took a liking to me. Amagawa Trawa Glo, you are too alone. Tonight, I make feast for you. That night, I attended a very strange ceremony. Arambua Kawagom! Kalipu, my daughter. And tonight, Kalipu become your wife. Not my wife. Maragawa Mindeglao Bao. You not want Kalipu? Pika Nawagawa Beta. But I have a wife. Magao ni Kalipu Garu mi Glotu. Haramburu. Terugan nebagao kasha. Haram, haram, harabau. Rao kalam. I had no choice. Either I agreed to marry the chief's daughter or die. What did you do? As you can see, my dear, I'm not dead. Blaze. You doubt the faithfulness of your husband. That night, I decided to make my escape. You were trying to get me angry, weren't you? <laughs> <laughs> oh, what if my husband had to face the same dilemma? Oh, madame, the captain would have preferred death before betraying his beloved wife. You frightened me. I would prefer that Paul get married and never come home, as long as he was still alive and well. <laughs> Mama! Marguerite, why did you come here? I wanted to know about Papa. He'll never come home. He's dead, Mama. <laughs> Why do you say that, Marguerite? Blaze is here with us. He came home. Tell us how you escaped from the island. I had been hiding my provisions away for quite a long time. That night, the last before my forced marriage to the Indian girl, I took a small boat and left. in catching some fish, but then drinking water became scarce. I was half dead when at last I was rescued by a passing ship. This man is still alive! Oh, where am I? We can use him. Get in there. Get stay in there. I had the misfortune of being rescued by pirates. These brigands were nothing like the Indians. For six months, the only reason they let me out of the hole was to make me work like a slave. Oh! 
one night when the ship was anchored in a port in the West Indies. Time for your daily feast, filthy Frenchman. Ha! Huh? Where'd he go? He's gone. I was fortunate enough to find a French vessel. Three weeks later, I sailed into the Havre, happy to feel French soil under my feet at last. I immediately went to Paris to the Naval Ministry. I wanted to register my return as soon as possible at the Office of Sea Disasters and Disappearances. Does everyone who comes back after a wreck go to the Naval Ministry place to sign up? Why yes, of course they do. After so many years of absence, people assume you're dead. Sometimes it's the only way to find your family again. Why don't we go there together, madame? They could tell us if they have any news about our loved ones. Why yes, you're right, dear. Why didn't I think of going there before now? There's no need, my friend. My brother left this morning for Paris for that reason. Ah, Marguerite is here, I could have guessed. You want news of your father as well. Your brother is very kind to go there on our behalf, but why didn't you tell us he was going? It was too early to say anything since... You were right. We must keep a very cool head. Our hopes are now in the hands of Mr. de Rouges. Is this the office that deals with maritime disasters? Ah, uh, yes. You were the victim of a shipwreck then, I presume? No, sir. I'm here for news of a friend of mine, Captain de Roseborg. For that, I need to know the name of his ship. He commanded a frigate called the La Sibylle, which went down somewhere near Bermuda four years ago this autumn. The La Sibylle, the La Sibylle. Let me see now. Mm, I seem to recall that name. Yes, I think I know. You have news of Captain de Rosemore? Why, of course. He registered here upon his return. I have his statement here somewhere. Let me see now. Hmm. Have you lost it? Another service must have borrowed it. Here we are. Ah, oh, no. Here it is. Wrong again. What? But what are you doing? I'm leaving. It's closing time. But we haven't finished yet. But what about the captain? You'll have to try tomorrow, sir. Good day, sir. This is intolerable. I insist on seeing the minister immediately. I'm sorry that is impossible, sir. His office hours are on Thursday morning and Thursday morning only. After you, sir. Courier, post this immediately. It's urgent. Let's run away, sir. Is it from your brother? Yes, and excellent news as well, my friend. Oh, thank heaven. Captain de Rosebourg has already reported his return to France to the Naval Ministry. I will write you again as soon as I have more specific news. He's alive, Marguerite. He's alive. Oh, Mama, Mama, it's wonderful. You see, we were right not to give up hope. This is the happiest day of my life. But it made no mention of Paul, did it? It was a very brief message, Sophie. I'm sure more information will follow. I'm really very happy for you, madame. Sophie, dear. They must have come back together, Sophie, and Mr. de Rougesse forgot to mention it in his letter. Be a little more patient, darling. Wait until we receive the next letter. I know, this news has made us all so nervous. Why don't we play a game? Marguerite, go and fetch Camille, Madeleine, and their cousins. <laughs> <laughs> Nice. 
guys, somebody's lavender perfume. <laughs> <laughs> Your uncle, I have some bad news. Today I return to the naval ministry once again. I found the shipwreck ledger, sir. Congratulations. But ah, here it is. Sibyl, Sibyl, Sibyl. Ah, La Sibyl. There you are, sir. What? But you cannot be serious. You asked for the last Sibyl, didn't you? Yes, I did, but Captain de Roseburg didn't write this. This was written by his first mate, Leconte, Blaise Leconte. Ah, but that's all the information we have on the shipwreck of the last Sibyl, sir. I left a message at the Ministry to tell us if and when the captain comes back and that his wife is living at Fleurville. <laughs> <laughs> Sophie, what should we tell them? Nothing, not a word. We'd better not say anything. <laughs> Sophie! Catch me, Sophie! Paul is on his way home. I know he is. <laughs> 